everybody. Hi, it's Becky from PowerToolsWithThread.com. That's my blog. Oh my goodness, y'all. My life. You guys have no idea. It's crazy. I go to make these videos for y'all, and then, I don't know, something happens. The phone rings. Somebody walks in the door. I don't know. Whatever, right? The dog starts barking. This is just my life. I'm like, squirrel? And then I, a couple days later, I'm like, did I do that video? <laughs> I'm going crazy. Hey, all right, so support group is finished. I had shown y'all that before. Behind me is the background fabric almost put together completely for Mr. Bones. I had showed y'all I got this little pattern. Check this out. Isn't that cute, that little wall hanging? This is in the works, and I used a fat quarter bundle I got. It is from April Rosenthal for Moda called Midnight Magic 2, and it's just adorable. So I'm working on that, and I love the pattern in here with the cats. Look at the cats. Let me make sure I get it because it's directional. Look at those cats. Isn't that cute? So it has some, some modern print to it like this. Okay, but then it's got traditional, there's your skull, skulls and bones. So cute, so cute. I'm having a lot of fun with that. And I'm also working on the, where'd it go? The Gnome for the Holidays. I have shown y'all this one a while back. I've got that in the works. This is a show sample for the Houston Quilt Show. I will be on the main stage, the uh, All Brands booth, 1208. That's the booth number, 1208. No, let's see. The show is November 3rd through the 6th. I'll be on the main stage at noon on the, let's see, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So I will be, I think it's three, four, and five that I'll be on the main stage there. And I'm going to be talking about using a paper applique pattern like we get in here. You know how you get paper applique patterns for a quilt or a project or something, scan it into the scan and cut, and then use Simply Applique to turn it into an embroidery file. So I'm in the process of making this. Look at this. Check out my progress on this. See that? Look at that. Look at the letters for Tree Farm. You see that? That's all done in an embroidery file using Simply Applique. So this will be a show sample and I'm working on this. Mr. Bones, if I get him done, he'll be a show sample too. And uh, I think that's going to be really cute. It's, you know, it's the week after Halloween, but still, it's still the whole process is there. So that'll be a lot of fun. But I got some goodies in the mail I wanted to show you guys and just visit with y'all for a little while. <sighs> Oh my goodness. I wish I could tell you guys what stuff is like because uh, there's just so many moving pieces right now. The cruise, the second cruise, Sew and Sail Cruise 12 is almost sold out. There's a lady coming from New Zealand. Can you believe that? The other side of the globe. I can't believe it. it's crazy. I know what it's like to fly to the other side of the world. And, um, that is not fun in my opinion. So, cause I, I was stationed in South Korea for a year. So I know what it's like to fly, not even that far as New Zealand, but I know what it's like to be on a plane for 16 hours and that is not fun. So I am just honored all, as all get out, as we say in the South, that you guys are coming. So one that I know of from Australia and one from New Zealand. So it's just very exciting. We're going to have a good time. Okay. That's what I, you come here. We're going to have a good time. I can't wait. I think it's going to be a blast. Let me get all these pieces of, cause I've been, I've been getting all of my cut shapes for my, my gnomes and all this together. This is what I've been working. Now Spanky, my 10 needle, my brother PR 1055, that was down. That's been down now for three weeks. That's why I haven't been doing embroidery videos on that. My phone rang. I don't know what I was talking about. So I had shown y'all a video about the binding ease tool. 
like this. Now the giveaway is still going on on my blog, powertoolswiththread.com until the 15th, I think is what I have it going on there. So you can jump over there and uh, you can win this one, but they are back in stock online. So I will link below the video to it. And I'm telling you this thing, I will never make binding again. Oh, the binding I was making where I was showing you guys was for the Oklahoma quilt. And that's a Villa Rosa Designs pattern. And I finished it, I got it off the long arm. It turned out just beautiful. I love this uh, feather design that went into the quilting. Can you see it? This is a wonderful quilt. If you've got like a, like a layer cake, 10 inch squares for a baby quilt, this is not a giant quilt. It's pretty small. And so if you're a beginner or not, this is wonderful. Look at this. It turned out so nice. And I really like the backing. The backing I picked up at Piece by Piece Quilts in Biloxi, Mississippi. And this is what I call my couch quilt because I like to sit on the couch in the evenings, you know, and watch TV with Keith. And I just need something light on, on me, you know, just, he's always got the fan on or something. This is perfect, I, I just love it. So. This is my new couch quilt. It, it matches my decor in my living room. So, oh, my Band-Aid, no problem. Went to the dermatologist. They're always wanting to cut on you, aren't they? <laughs> so that one's done. I'm real happy to have that finished. I also picked up Missouri Star had a strength in pink. This is a set of 10 inch squares and it's by Riley Blake. It's just gorgeous. See this? And here are all the fabrics that come in it. Very, very pretty. Very pretty. And there was a corresponding panel that went with this and I thought that it was like just a pink ribbon on a panel. See this? But look, it's got it's got like cut lines where you would cut it apart. See that? What am I gonna do with that? I don't know. I looked at it and I was like, okay. <laughs> I thought about, the reason I bought the panel was I thought, oh, it's, cause it's hard to tell from the picture on the internet, right? But I thought, oh, maybe it'll go, I can put it in the corner on this, but it won't work. It's way too big. It's the wrong shade of pink, all of that. So, talked to a friend of mine who works in Victoria, Texas at the Citizens Medical Treatment Facility. And they have, um, they have a cancer treatment facility there. And I talked to her about donating this quilt there. So, it'd be nice to get it done before the end of the month so that you do the donation during breast cancer, you know, or cancer awareness month. But gosh, we're leaving the 28th for Houston to go to quilt market. And I have got to get these samples finished. And I just, I just don't know. I have no idea. Oh, I was telling y'all Spanky was down my 10 needle over here. So that slowed me down big time, not being able to get my embroidery projects done. And while I do have the single needle, Darla, my luminaire, you know, when you're doing a bunch of different colors on stuff and whatnot, I don't want to do it on a single needle. <laughs> I want to do it on my multi-needle. I can get a lot more done. But I did get like the October Cuties table topper done on the single needle. I got to tell y'all, God, this is the funniest story. Have you ever... Let me, let me come in a little bit. Have y'all ever like, you're working with something, you know, and, and you've got a lot of parts and pieces and you're doing your thing and you can't find one piece of it for whatever reason. I mean, you've got them all laid out or something. You're going along, stitching along, and then all of a sudden something's gone. You're like, where did that go? And you look and you look and you look and you just can't find it, right? So, I was working on the October Kimber Bell Cuties table topper and to place the paper pattern that I had print out, the print out of the stitching design. And then I was using a dime 
Target sticker. The darn things run off again. Hold on. So I was using a dime Target sticker. These things, see this? It's got an arrow on it and it's got a different color and all that. And that's, you put this on your background fabric and then you put the, you know, that's your center point so you know how to align your fabric in the hoop. So I was doing this and everything and then I got through with like the second one and I had, you know, I, I took this off and I set it to the side and then I was working after the second one and then I was going to do the third one and I went to look for it and I couldn't find it and I was like, where did that go? You know, and I started looking and looking and I was looking under things and I looked on the floor, I got down on my hands and knees and I'm digging around, couldn't find that thing anywhere. You know, and after a while your brain says, well, it couldn't have just disappeared into thin air, right? And then after looking and looking and looking, it's not in the trash can, it's not anywhere. It's not stuck to the back of something. I'm like, well, you know, my brain starts playing tricks on me like, well, maybe it did disappear into thin air. Meh, no big deal, it's just a sticker. Not a big deal. So I go and get another one and I finish the project. Well, <laughs> a little while later, I was, uh, I had to go to the grocery store, so I went to the mirror to go, you know, fix my hair and check my hair, and I put my hands up to check my hair, <laughs> and I found my sticker. <laughs> no, I laughed at myself. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I was like, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Oh, you gotta laugh, right? You gotta laugh. Hey, uh, Creative Notions got their uh, their box in. Now this was July, they did a Christmas in July. And I gotta be honest, it came in a beautiful red bag. And that's the video I was talking about that I had shot already. And now I don't, I don't know what happened to it. I can't find it on the chip. Or it's on a chip that's at the coast I don't know, I'm not sure what happened to it, but I do want to go through it again with you guys. And I think it is just fortuitous that Creative Notions had Christmas in July because that way they can get the Christmas projects out to you guys before then. Now they are starting this in October, they're starting a new monthly billing system. So in your, in your bag, on one of the papers in your bag, you're gonna to be told what the new billing system is and how it works. I guess what was happening was it was auto billing every month, but the boxes or the subscription bags, they're way backed up. They're probably sitting on a boat somewhere in the Pacific or something, I don't know. You know, supply chain, right? But we're still grateful to Creative Notions Quilt Shop for continuing the bags to keep us entertained. They sent beautiful fat quarters See, now I tossed the paper that came with it because I was all done shooting the video. What you got is some beautiful Christmas fabric. I'm going to hold it up so you can see it up close. Isn't that cute? With the gingerbread house and scoops of peppermints, peppermint sticks. Yummy, yummy. We have pretty blue snowflakes. It's on a soft aqua. Very pretty. And we've got a red gingham no plaid red plaid i'm sorry we have the same large print on black the other one was on cream look at that that's cool it's stunning isn't it very nice and it has a red and white stripe that comes with it we've got another large print on cream this is cupcakes and hot chocolate and cookies more peppermints and then we have words on red tossed words on red gingerbread dreams are baked of these very cute and then we have peppermint sticks candy canes on black really really cute that's adorable stuff I love it, it reminds me of my childhood so with that you got patterns for a kitchen set, okay? You can make 
an apron and a hot pad and a two-handled hot pad or an oven mitt. You can do that too. That came in, came in with it. And or here we are regarding subscriber payments. That's what I was talking about. So you get full color print instructions on how to make these. And you also get a zipper pouches. All right, so you get a three page printout, full color of how to make four pages of how to make zipper pouches. Okay, so you can make zipper pouches out of these. And to go with it for the zipper pouches, we got five 12 inch zippers in red, white, and black. Very nice, these are great. We got patterns for their block of the month that go in their garden bloom quilts. The block of the month is hibiscus. And this one is the tulip block. Got that, that goes in your big, you're gonna make a big quilt at the end of the deal. And then each month this year, we're getting some odd rulers that you normally would not work with. And these are the kite and it's called a kite set. It's nine inch kite ruler and side triangle. So here is your kite ruler. Still got it in the wrapper. And the side triangle that goes with it. I don't know how that fits. This is not my, there we go. Something like that. And that came with a quilt pattern that you can do here. There's the quilt pattern that uses that ruler set. You'd have to go out to Creative Notions Quilt Shop and go get the extra border fabric, okay? Or you can make a table topper, a Christmas table topper using that. Very, very nice. So that's the great thing. If you guys have quilt stores that are closing around you, like mine is, check out Creative Notions Quilt Shop. They have a lot of stuff on there. They sell a lot of stuff online, more than just the bags. And then if you ever, you know, you're a subscriber to the, to the uh, monthly subscription, which is a deal, you guys. I'm, you know, not just getting fabric, but you're getting patterns and notions and everything that you need to keep you busy. So I think this is perfect, uh, you know, to make somebody, a, that's like a teacher gift or a church gift. Do it as a little zipper pouch and uh, give it to them for Christmas, you know. And if you like them, slip a little green in there. <laughs> I am doing a sweet pea embroider along starting on the 24th of October. It is the Christmas cross and flowers wall hanging. And I wanted to let you guys know that now. I'll put a picture of it right here so that you can see what the pattern looks like. And if you'd like to join me, this is self paced. Click below into the description box to get the pattern and you can there's no kit or anything you can use your own fabrics and if the thing i like about what sweet pea does is when you see something that you like over on the side they have a whole bunch of pictures and you can scroll through those pictures and you can see what other people have done with different fabric choices. And that gives you a lot of different options and I really like that. I think that's pretty cool. Hey, I got a new rotary cutter. My girlfriend's quilt shop. This is owned by the sister, the twin sister of uh, Kim who runs Kimberbell Embroidery. So her twin sister has a quilt shop. That's Chris, I believe. And they're doing a, this, this is a product that they have now. So they're carrying their own rotary cutter and they have, you know, like Dollar Shave Club, you get blades in every month. They have a subscription for the blades. Now this one came, you had to order by a certain date. So this one came in and it came with blades. I don't know if this is still offered. I think this was an introductory thing, but you can subscribe and you'll get blades every three months or something like that. And that way you don't ever have to worry about running out of sharp blades. You've always got them. And this is not a paid promotion. They did not, I paid for this out of my own money, you guys. I'm using, now I will tell you, it looks identical, shape, size, even down to the little grooves on the top. 
It looks identical to an Ulfa ruler, okay? The button on the back is different. Ulfa has the little metal deal, and they've got a little cover over theirs. And then they've got little little handle thing there. So where this one is solid black, this one is green or white with green dots. But I would guess the button's in the same place. I would think that these... Uh, they probably talked to the same folks when they were gonna make them. I've been using it now for a couple of days and so far so good. I'm using it on all of my fabric cutting because I want to see how does their blade compare with an Ulfa blade. Does the Ulfa blade last any longer? Does this one last as long? If it is the same, which one will I use? Well, I'll use the cute one for sure. <laughs> if, I, if I don't like it, I'll let you guys know. You can make your own opinion, but it, it feels, looks, feels, operates, functions identical to an Ulfa, but don't know where they came from. So I'm just throwing that out there for you guys. What else is going on? Oh, I got in the the patterns for the Villa Rosa Designs Pattern Club. This is another one. I really like this. $8.95 a month, you get five patterns every month. And if you want, you can spend the extra buck 75 and get their, their uh, table runner patterns. So those are cool, but you get five every month. And then they have an app on their phone that and I use that app all the time you guys as many books as I have with quilt patterns in it if I'm going to look what can I do with a 10 inch layer cake I will go to their app and check it out and figure out what I want and then you can either download the pattern on their website right then instantaneous gratification or you can order the card the physical card too but whatever you order from villarosadesigns.com there's always free shipping even on fabric so you need to subscribe to their emails so that you can see what's coming in i love what's new wednesdays and that's how i keep up with all the cool stuff that's rolling in and on the market so let's go over these i got florence this is a great quilt for a beginner Here's Florence, it's 60 by 80, and it uses 12 fat quarters. That's just so easy to do. There's no bias diagonal seams in this quilt. Here's another one. This is called Shoots and Ladders. This is a great quilt if you've got a bunch of solids. It finishes at 50 by 70, and it uses two and a half inch strips. So if you've got a jelly roll of solids this is a great quilt for that this is wraps they did this in a red white and blue it is 60 by 72 and it uses nine fat quarters wraps did y'all just hear my dog snore she's over there she snores like a train <laughs> i might have to edit that out <laughs> oh my goodness we have planters planters this finishes at 60 by 72 and it uses 32 and a half inch strips another easy quilt great for beginners very nice now i'm gonna fall back on my spanish class this is estrella estrella it is 52 by 52 and it uses let's see background one and seven eighths background two middle color fabrics four outside color fabrics Check that out. Isn't that pretty? Beautiful. Again, a nice one for solids. And then the table runners this month, we have, this is a Dorbs Pumpkin Hollow. Look at that. It finishes at 16 by 50, and it uses fat quarters and fat, fat quarters for the large pumpkins, fat eights for the small pumpkins, and a scrap of green for the stems. That's so cute. Pumpkin Hollow. I like that. I might have to make that. And we got goody, goody gumdrops. Goody, goody gumdrops. I haven't heard that in a million years. And it this finishes at 14 by 35 and it uses one pack of 45 inch squares. So that's great. Something to do with those charm packs that you have. 
For you new quilters, I have a lot of embroiderers that watch me and then you're thinking about, well, maybe I'll start quilting and, you know, cause that's a lot of fun as well. There is a company called Moda. They are like one of the largest fabric distributors in the United States and they're, they're headquartered up in Dallas. Years ago, maybe 10 years ago now, they came up with the Moda Bake Shop and that was, they have a website, the Moda Bake Shop, and their pattern designers were called Moda Chefs, and they're the ones who came up with the pre-cut uh, titles or terms of uh, the layer cake. So you have a cake, right? Layer cake is the package of 10 inch squares. They called the roll of two and a half inch strips a jelly roll. And then the five inch squares, they called it a charm pack. Half of one of these is called a jolly bar. And those are unique to uh, Kim Jolly at the Fat Quarter Shop. And it's just a neat way to kind of put a food spin, sweet spin on um, pre-cuts. And it was, they were the first company to ever take so a designer will make a whole bunch of different fabrics that go into one fabric line. And it used to be you could get fat quarters or you'd have to buy yardage. Well, Moda came up with the bright idea of having pre-cuts. And they pitched that idea initially to companies like Missouri Star. And that's how I built all of the pre-cut stash that I have. And um, I actually heard Jenny Doan from Missouri Star tell that story. And that's um, how the everything came to be. Usually, I mean, the, the terms layer cake and that kind of thing are, they're for Moda products, but other, everybody just, when you say layer cake, it doesn't matter what fabric distributor it comes from. Everybody knows you're talking about a package of 10 inch squares. So that's more information than you wanted to know. But being a fabric nerd, I like sharing that. Hey, I had to order more t-shirts, not just these soft pink ones. Oh my gosh, you guys. I made a video and I said, oh, the t-shirts are in. This is no kidding. We had the largest one-time, one-day order ever in the history of Power Tools with Thread. I had ordered $2,000 worth of t-shirts from the lady that I get them from down in LaGrange, Texas. And uh, they were gone in a day. They were gone. Y'all, it looked like the locusts rolled in. I had one of those big trash bags, the clear kind that we use here in the States for recyclables. And it was packed to the top. And normally, my because my, we live in a rural area, my mail carrier, she'll just pick up, you know, like a grocery bag, a, a little plastic shopping bag of like three or four orders or something. And she sits in the front seat and goes beep, beep, beep and throws them in the back. There was no way. My husband said, I'm gonna have to take these to the post office. He rolled up looking like Santa Claus with the big bag and went in and went poof, you know, cause we, we pack everything ourselves. You guys, when you get your shirts or anything from Power Tools with Thread, my husband's the one who writes, thank you, Becky and Keith on the label. And um, so they, here's all these packages of all these t-shirts and all this stuff with the labels on them and all that. And they looked at that and said, just leave it, we'll do it later, so. If you haven't gotten it yet, you will soon. And I just ordered a whole bunch more t-shirts from her. So I think I'm gonna put their kids through college and you guys are helping me. <laughs> hey, if you are gonna make that sweet pea Christmas cross with me, I'm gonna give you a little tip on something. Most Walmarts have, let me peel this off. This, this is a synthetic. Most Walmarts have this fabric. It's very stretchy. And I got a yard, it's a, it's a knit, okay? It's a knit, all right? Multi, it stretches all directions, okay. I think you would use this for like, what do they call that when adults make costumes? I can't remember what that's called. I never got into that. Anyway, y'all are screaming it at me right now. It'll come to me. So the cross in the pattern, the one they have is gold and it's, it's like, and I know it's probably their pleather. They have a very shiny gold pleather. I'll link to that below as well. I'll just link to the site. You guys can check it all out. 
and you can order that. But I got a yard of this and I'm going to try it with this to make my sample and see how it goes. If I can embroider on this, I will. This stuff's, you know. Now I have sewn with this before. I used it when I made little stuffed dragons for my grand grandsons. Everybody got a dragon. Man, that was years ago. It comes in gold and they have it in silver as well. I didn't see the silver at the Walmart I went to this morning, but I did see it in this gold. And so I wanted it. That's why I went and checked that out. I wanted to get that. I had to go to a memorial service this morning. A lady in my DAR chapter, she passed last week. Oh, that's so sad. She was in her 80s. She was a love. Oh, I'm going to miss her. All right, you guys, that's it. This was a lot of fun. Hey, if you haven't had a mammogram in a year, you need to schedule yourself for one, okay? We'll talk to you soon. You guys go sew something. Bye.